Hey, hey. Okay. Was a good friend with me. Who this? Sure. Okay, sorry. Okay, so slight. Slight for myself. Okay. Uh ba 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 ba. I'm gonna get rid of this too. But hi hi! Oh my god, I forgot to do it again. <laughs> my phone was all the way over there. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. I always forget. Like, nine times out of ten, I will forget to have chat open on my phone. Because I'm a silly little goober. I'm just a silly little guy. You know what? I'm gonna make a manual tweet. Just because I feel like it. So I'm going to wait for people to roll in quick, so I get rid of it. Okay, um... Okay, uh... Making our tweet. Working on it, I'm working on it. Uh, da da da. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Um. Okay. Hi hi everyone! We're finishing the Archon quest, or er, not Archon quest, main quest. Just let's take care of Berry Puff. Also, <laughs> did a lot off stream. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but like, <laughs> exploration progress. I've got like, sh I've explored a lot of Fontaine. And I've gotten a lot of wishes. Um, uh, inventory. <laughs> I have a lot of wishes saved for my boy Rizzy. 61. I've saved a lot. <laughs> I, I, I'm determined to get Rizzy. He's my boy. Oh yeah, we can do um, some of... I also did some of the new um, events. Off stream, but we're, we can do like the last few. Get a free wish with the Bennett because I already have C6. So I think we would just get like five Stellar Fate. Which will give us another wish. 
which is pretty dope. Yes, I did C6 my Bennett. <laughs> because I get annoyed by the little red exclamation marks. That shit annoys the crap out of me. It's... It's the worst, and I hate that Like I eternally have one over this. Just because I don't like to do all of my story quests right away. Goodness forbid I like to keep a couple story quests in the roster. It's like, I know it's there, please don't put a little red exclamation mark. I know, I know. Let's talk to Barry Puff. Huh? Berry puff seems a little uneasy. Maybe it's hungry. Let's feed it some food. Blub blub. The blubber beast gently bites your sleeve and looks very anxious and upset. It seems as if it's trying to pull you to a certain direction. What's up, little guy? Done this for like a couple days. He's like almost full health. He's not eating at all. He keeps looking over in that direction. No, oh, that direction. Whoa, Paimon can't see what's going on back there clearly. Strange, Barry Puff's friend is usually here, but it hasn't shown up at all today. I think I've been forgetting to read with my Paimon voice. I don't think she heard that Blubber Beasts can communicate using songs we can't hear. Oh no, could it be trapped in the seagrass over there like last time? Traveler, let's go over and check it out. Okay, I don't know. Also, sorry, I'm a little late. I had a little boo-boo that I needed to patch up. Huh? Another clockwork mecha? Hang on a moment. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna fucking kill these clockwork mecha. It would be cool if you gave me the gears. Hello. So you're a friend of Barry Puff, huh? I, I can't do it. No. It goes by way too quickly for me to read. I'm a slow reader. Barry Puff. I wish the spirit kite. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I wish the spirit guy could come in here. Just be with Barry Puff. I also lost the uh, appe its appetite because it was worried about its friend. But why would there be so many clockwork mecha around here and they're even attacking innocent animals? Shouldn't the Fountain Research Institute do something about this? Anyway, Traveler, let's give it the food we prepared. <laughs> Sorry. It seems to be much in much better spirits than last time. It should make a full recovery soon and return to the sea with its companions. Oh. I haven't been paying attention to the story. I am a serial uh, skipper of dialogue when it's not actually voice acted and I'm not on stream. I tried to pay attention to one of them, but then I lost interest and it was like 3 a.m. It wasn't 3 a.m., it was like 1 a.m. and I was like, I need to go to bed like right now. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> okay, eat your food, Berry Puff, so you can return with your friend. You offer some food 
and Barry Puff quickly swims out and unhesitatingly devours the treat. Ugh. Sorry. You tentatively reach out a hand and to pet the little blubber beast. It feels softer and warmer than you expected. Almost of it as if you're running your hands across a plush toy made from velvet. I hate the texture of velvet. I don't know why. I just... It's like nails on chalkboard for me. The texture is just yuck. yuck. Full hearts. Hell freaking yeah. <laughs> it trusts us completely now. Not a ruin its whole life. I'm changing my earbud. It there's like this weird noise and it's annoying the shit out of me right now. Hola momento por favor. Ah, shit. The case closed before I could put the other one Okay. And now to connect my earbud. Easy. Uh. <laughs> good, good, good. I wish I could name change the name for my earbuds on my computer. That way I know which one is which. <laughs> okay, the other one. Okay, cool. Why don't we come back to visit again it again later, traveler? Bye, Berry Puff. All this music. I'm like not putting anything on. This is just the actual fucking music. Also speaking of I'm coming in. Is this bubble okay? Can you hear Paimon? Yes. We can hear Paimon. Okay. I had dialogue volume down also because I was getting annoyed by repeating of the same lines. But I don't want to get annoyed. I forget that they do this that fucking swan dive so much. Sometimes. I have, like, the statue almost fully, like, upgraded in Fontaine, which is fucking insane because I don't have it for Sumeru or even Inazuma yet. Illusion shattered. Allow me. Step on up. One with the force. Yeah. And I actually had dialogue off for, like, a moment. Then went into a fight, and it was kind of jarring to not hear like the lines that go off a lot. They were just silent. And shout. Yeah. Also, I think I fixed my uh, mouse because it's working way better. Oh hi. Rachel, how are you doing? Hi, hi, how are you guys doing? I'm just chilling, walking around. I should probably go start the quest soon. I've made sure to have it like always showing- I, I've gotten a little close because there's like a chest over here 
that I'm gonna try to get, but, um, yeah, I... I've avoided that area because I don't want to fuck up again. Oh good! I'm glad you're doing good. Today we're gonna finish the Archon quest and just kinda putz around for a bit. Because why not? Get all of our content from Fontaine out of the way, maybe do a couple story quests that I've been needing to. Like, I haven't finished Nahida's yet. Like, any of Nahida's story quests. Which I'm shocked that you don't have to do to get to Fontaine and its story. But fair enough. But yeah, I, I know that I have to finish them to uh, upgrade, like, Rizzy and stuff. I also cut my nails really short the other day. But I left two of them long. I I've been like growing out my nails uh, really nice and stuff recently, but uh, of course the other day I broke a nail and uh, I tried to salvage it by uh, painting it because it wasn't like fully broken, but like is the early stages. How the fuck do I leave? Okay. I'm just gonna teleport out. Cause there's a teleport point here that I forgot. <laughs> also guys, no spoilers in the chat. As always, don't be that guy. It's a place I've already been. Can I stop the final thing? We'll save it for next time. Wondering what that was. Finally found it. Huh. So this is the entrance that leads to the synth production base. It sure doesn't seem out of the ordinary at all. Why is she echoing underwater? I'm shocked if they can even just actually talk underwater. Fair enough. I never really thought about it in the un- uh, the non-voiced uh, underwater dialogue. <laughs> I didn't think about it because I was mostly skipping through it because I couldn't be bothered to read. Um, like, now that I'm thinking about it, it's- it's a little weird. <laughs> Why is she echoing? How are we talking underwater and hearing each other? Well, they don't want it to stand out. Yes, but I'm sure we find... What we find inside will be extraordinary. 
Again, I still think it's the Fatui because it's always You're the right. Fatui. An important place like this is bound to have a ton of protective measures and mechanisms. Nadia's probably arguing up a storm right now to stall for us. Yeah, she's been arguing up a storm for like a month in game because I played like all day over the weekend. And shit. Meanwhile, oh! Meanwhile, inside the upper Epiclès. This is nice. So it's gonna be going back and forth. It would appear that I must repeat my question again, Mr. Tartaglia. Mm -hmm. Do you accept the charge that you are the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case? Oh, shit. To be perfectly honest, I don't understand your country's complicated court system, or the reason why I'm being charged with something I've never even heard of. However... I did hear that people who have been charged can choose to participate in a duel to clear their name. Is that right? That's a thousand percent something he would love to do. Because he's been doing the duels. In which case, as long as I accept the charge, I can have an all-out fight with that champion duelist Clorent, right? I've got to admit, that's one of the most enticing offers I've ever received. When I privately sparred with her last time, she was obviously holding back. Real disappointing. Hey, don't you understand? You're currently the prime suspect for a major case. This isn't the place for you to be looking for fights. Oh girl, you don't even know the half of it. This man will fight anyone. Oh? Sounds like the Hydro Archon wants to lecture me on the ways of the Opera House. Well, yeah, it's kind of her domain, but... Then yes. why don't you duel me, too? I'm the kind of student that learns best Damn. in the heat of battle. Alas, it would appear that communication with the defendant is going poorly. We have made very little progress. In that case, let me explain everything from the very beginning again. The goal of this trial is to determine the culprit behind the serial disappearances case. That case had nothing to do with him! You've got the wrong man! Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Why is she interjecting again? Objection! <laughs> I told you it couldn't be one of the Fatui Harbingers. Uh, wrong Fatui Harbinger. Miss Navia, this is the second time you've interrupted the court proceedings. I only tolerated your behavior last time because you were able to provide the court with a key eyewitness. But that was an exception rather than standard court protocol. I can very well charge you with contempt of court for your interjections. Ooh, shit. Oh, please. Did you ever think I had any respect for this place's pointless theatrics? Oh, damn. We can put the discussion aside for now. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to charge the true culprit behind the serial disappearances case. And if my charges prove true, then Tartaglia here will be proven innocent by default, correct? I mean, he's not innocent. He lost that shit long ago. But in this case, I'm pretty sure he's innocent. He himself did not do it. The organization he works for? I a thousand percent is involved. Believe it 
is involved in this. I believe it's Fatui versus Fatui in this. Mostly putting a target on the back of, that, of the House of Hearth to put it in its place. Oh, a young lady has charged in and offered to clear my name. How fascinating. Well, I've gotten half bored to death by all these rules and procedures anyway. So I'll take you up on that offer. So, Your Honor, is there nothing else for me to do now? You may take a seat for now in the audience. But that doesn't mean the suspicions against you have been lifted. Okay. Now then, Miss Navia. Who is the person you would like to charge instead? That person is... Oh, fuck. Um... Oh, Marcel! Marcel, the head of Confrere of Cabriere! Oh, shit. Oh, ads, shit. Da, 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 da. Ad time, ad time. This is an awkward place to put ad time, but, you know, it's ad time. It is uh, at like about half an hour into the stream, so that makes sense. Uh, boo -boo -doo -boo -boo. It's ad time, ad time. Gotta love the ad time. Boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Uh, la 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 you guys like my singing? I I'm, I'm gonna take some uh, nice swigs of my drink. I've been drinking a lot of tea, because we've got a lot of tea, and I've been pissing like a racehorse, which is probably too much information and would be very awkward if ad time ended right when I said pissing like a rain racehorse or some shit. <laughs> That's just all you get. <laughs> I cannot drink too much tea or coffee or else I will be having issues. <laughs> I will be having a bad time. I'm gonna put my phone in my boobs. That way I can just glance down and see. Oh, hello! Okay, uh... I don't think you missed much. We, uh... Are accusing Marcel... Of the crime. Huh? What contrary? Never heard of them in my life! Yo, that drip? I love, like, an outfit with, like, this... Bit. I I fucking love that shit. For being an NPC, damn, she's dripped out. I've heard of them, but weren't they Spina di Rosula's sister organization? Yes, and they're a dirty fucking rat. Eh. I got an itch on my back. One more. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Oh, is this going to be a friends to enemies type situation? <sighs> yep, they're a dirty fucking rat. Please let me remind you, Miss Navia, that charging someone is an incredibly serious matter. Committing to the charge also means taking on the legal responsibilities associated with it. Yeah. And we're fucking ready. And if the charge fails, depending on the circumstances, you may also be charged with the crime of making a false accusation. Knowing this, do you still wish to charge this man? Yes. Yes, very much. Yes, I do. He did not pass 
the vibe check. And so for that, he's going to fucking jail. That's right, guys. If you fail a vibe check, you're going to fucking prison. In that case, I declare the charge to be valid. Miss Navia and attorneys, please take your places on the court. Mm. Members of the guards, please contact Mr. Marcel right away so that he may stand trial. Oh, shit. After some time, a shocked and confused Marcel is brought to the stands. Mr. Marcel, you will not require an attorney. Is that correct? Ah, apologies, sir. It all just happened so quickly. I still haven't figured out what's going on. I think an attorney won't be necessary. This is probably just a misunderstanding between me and Navia. Very well. Nope. In that case, since both sides have now arrived, Miss Navia, please present your charges. Charges of he's a fucking rat. I would like to take everyone back to three years ago. To the case of Callus the Unfaithful. Oh, shit. Only through elucidating what really happened in that case can we connect all the dots for the serial disappearances case. Damn. Navia, do you really think that I was the one who killed your father? No, but you're involved. Come on. Why would I do that? Callus was my benefactor, and remember both you and I only ran to the scene when we heard the sound of a gun. That doesn't mean you're not still involved. Just because you didn't take the shot doesn't mean you're still... You're not still an accomplice. If that's enough to make me a suspect, wouldn't that make everyone at that banquet a suspect as well? No. You sus as fuck and you did not pass the vibe check. I, uh, I think there's no point in getting into the specifics right now. The audience doesn't even have the big picture yet. Even I'm <laughs> struggling to remember some details of that case. Exactly correct, Your Honor. I must refresh everyone's memory about that case before I can explain my charge and reasoning. I see. In which case, I will recount the findings about that case as originally recorded by Maison Guardianage. God, I love his voice. I will say that whoever is doing the voice, I forgot to fucking look it up. You know what? I'm gonna look it up now. Because full credit to him, oh my god. I may not be pulling for him, but every time he speaks, I blush. Monsieur Nouvelle. Okay, uh, VA. Ray Chase. Full credit to Ray Chase. Oh my god, every time he speaks, I am blushing like crazy. He's got an amazing voice. Oh shit. On the day of the murder, Spina di Rosula hosted a large banquet in a countryside estate owned by the Confrerie of Cabriere. Yes. During the banquet, all attending guests heard two gunshots from the courtyard. Yes. When the guests arrived at the scene, they found the primary suspect, Callis, holding a gun, while his acquaintance, Jacques, lay dead from a gunshot wound. Yes. The guard's investigation did not recover any other firearms from the scene. As a result, they concluded that the suspect's first shot must have missed, or the second must have taken Jacques' life. Nope, because it shot the other man, but he was... Aris, he decided to... He, he was liquefied. The suspect did not dispute this conclusion, and also declined to defend himself in court. 
Instead, he chose to Damn, prove his innocence through a duel. Hot. Callus was defeated by champion duelist Clarand in the ensuing duel, and soon succumbed to the injuries. Damn. Rip. These are the known facts about the case. But they're incorrect. Or at least they're missing all the key details. To kill was Jacques, not my father. And even so, Jacques still had no reason to pull the trigger. Uh, in truth, the third person shot Jacques first and was shot in turn by my father when my father seized the gun from him. Oh! Yo, that makes way more fucking sense. I'm stupid. That makes so much more fucking sense because Jacques refused to do it. He couldn't do it. He couldn't bring himself to do it. And the other man shot him, but then. Uh. Uh, Kalik held the gun and shot the other man, but then he liquefied to get rid of the evidence to frame Kalik. But he accepted it to take off the heat from Navia. Keep her safe and give her the option. To live her life however she wants. After that, the true culprit turned the third person into water, erasing all traces of him from the scene. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you for the summary, Your Honor. Of course, the guard's conclusion appeared quite sensible to us at the time. Yeah. However, we should You're revisit the case now that we've gained new information about the abilities of water from the primordial sea. Yes. Agreed. Okay. okay. Uh... We can't dispute that we... Can't identify the loophole. This? Huh. Something's not okay. right. Uh. Okay. Uh... The there we go. The testimony of the victim's family confirms that Jacques had thoughts of assassinating Callus when he set out for the banquet. However, in the end, he reconsidered and instead shared everything with Callus. Hoping to seek the latter's protection. Unfortunately for Jacques, the true culprit had already considered this possibility and had sent out another assassin. Aw, oh, shit. Okay, we need the water. Okay, we need to do this first. This assassin first shot Jacques, then turned to shoot Callus, only for Callus to wrestle the gun from him and kill him instead. That way it makes way more sense than uh, my guess. And then the water. A pile of clothing was found at the scene. The guards once believed they were used by Jacques as a costume to disguise himself. But now, it is clear that the clothes were proof that there was a third person at the scene. Hi, Naki! They were turned into water after committing the murder. Since it was raining that day, the culprit was confident that they could use the rain to wash away all traces of their dissolved accomplice. Damn. Realizing this, the true culprit caused the hired assassin to dissolve into water, leading everyone to believe Callus was responsible for Jacques' murder. This is the true version of events. I'm doing good. We're gonna win this case. Even if I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Tartaglia, he did not do it. 
I know the Futui are definitely involved, though. Like, a thousand percent involved. Obviously with, uh, the House of Hearth already, but, like, I think it's Fatui working against Fatui. Put the House of Hearth in its place, because they all know that Arlecchino would turn in the in a heartbeat and is loyal to the House of Hearth and her uh, children. Thus, to put her in her place, they they put. Linny and Lynette on the chopping block. And shit like that. I don't know. That's my guess. Hell yeah. Ah, so that's what happened. Wait. You're telling me something as dangerous as water from the Primordial Sea has been used for all these years? Yes. What a great theory. It also explains Callus's and Jacques' respective motives. I guess they didn't shoot each other after all. But you were the one on the inside. You were the rat. Mr. Marcel, you are the one being charged with the crime. You should provide a rebuttal if you wish to prove your innocence. Oh shit. Ah, but I think I agree with everything Navia just said. In fact, there was nothing in her speech that directly implicated me. We'll get to that. We had to provide the context and the real crime. But for what you're being charged now, you're being charged as a fucking rat. Then, may I ask some questions? In my yes. opinion, we primarily need to determine two things. One, that Marcel's a rat. And two, who he's working for. Also, I'm gonna be working on her drawing more. Mm, you know what? Fucking screenshot of this. There we go. Take a couple of them. So this is a really nice close-up of her, her. One. My drawing. Do you have the evidence to back up your claims? Not yet. We still have to go back to the traveler, but soon, soon. I'm afraid not. At least not at this very moment. Boo! <laughs> if you don't have any evidence, you should just go home. No. I may not have the evidence with me, but I know where I could go to collect it. If we look up the deserted clothes against a record of people who went missing around the same time, we should be able to find a match. Considering the serial disappearances case, the guards probably kept careful records of all missing persons from around that time, regardless of age or gender. That makes sense to me. Monsieur Nouvellet, I would consider this to be a reasonable investigative direction. Huh. Why do I feel like Farina's acting a little differently today? Her different persona is showing up? <gasps> It's not really her. I don't know. She's feeling really fucking embarrassed about last time. Maybe she's scared of embarrassing herself again? Yeah, that. Alternatively, she's become more diligent after charging an innocent citizen in the last trial. Yeah. It's a thousand percent bad. My second question has to do with the ensuing duel. If the truth is indeed as you described, then why didn't Mr. Callus explain himself in court? If he had testified that a person had been dissolved, he could have at least...
least mounted a defense. But he decided to take the blame because he knew he was already going to die and there was a target on the back of his daughter. And to give her a choice in her life because he did not know her very well. He wanted to give her the choice of choosing how she wanted to live her life. I thought about this too, and the answer is actually pretty simple. He felt there were things that were more important to him. The dissolving power of water from the primordial sea is an important secret for the true culprit of the serial disappearances case. My father could have exposed it for all to see, but he chose to take it to the grave. At that time, Spina di Rosula was in dire straits, and his reputation had already been shattered. He had no guarantee that going forward with the truth would allow the culprit to be brought to justice. True. What was certain, however, was that it would paint a gigantic target on my back. Moss once told me that Demoiselle had already been selected as the next target of the serial disappearances case. What? If the secret had gotten out, the culprit would have fought an all-out war with Espina right there and then. I wouldn't have mm -hmm. been the only one in danger. All of us would have stood to lose our lives. Exactly. There, there's already been another attempt on her life. Of course. The guards might eventually figure out the truth of the matter, and determine that we were in the right. But what good would that do? How can a hollow verdict protect anyone? Exactly. Had this opera house ever given my father any kind of confidence in its brand of justice, Spina di Rosula would have had no reason to exist. Damn. But by staying silent, we retain the ability to deter our opponents and continue the stalemate. I was able to become Spina di Rosula's president, which made me harder to target, as well as giving me more time to grow and learn. Yep. And once I have figured out the truth and stepped up to the challenge, I will do what this opera house cannot and restore my father's truth and honor back to him. Damn. Go off, Queen. So, you mean to say, your father intended to die in the duelist's ring? Yes. That's right. Do you have any proof? Of course. All you need is to ask his opponent, Clarand. Damn. I do love the <laughs> the fucking buttons. I don't need that your apology, funny. your guilt, or your support from the shadows. You don't have to do anything for my sake. But since he entrusted his will to you, Clarand, you should tell us the truth about his sacrifice. Um, so, during the duel, did you believe that Callus was intending to die? Yes, I did. As a champion duelist, I've fought many battles and taken a countless number of dishonored lives. In my line of work, I've seen all kinds of people give their all for the faintest hope to continue living. Some were determined, others passionate, and some even manic and twisted. Just one look and I can tell if a duelist is hoping to live or if they're looking to die. I hereby swear on my name and honor as a champion duelist that Mr. Callus never intended to leave the ring alive. I'm gonna give Navi a hug. Girl needs Since it. Since that's your testimony, I have no more questions. It appears there really are good grounds to reopen this case. I concur. However, Miss Navia, you still have not explained the link between your father's case and the serial disappearances case. Right? What she said was fascinating, but kind of beside the point. Wait, weren't they just talking about the serial disappearances case? Exactly, they were literally just talking about it. Of course, Your Honor. The two cases are connected via a matter of timing. 
In my father's case, the culprit intended to kill both Jacques and Callus. As a result, they planned to act after hearing two gunshots. Mm -hmm. And at the end of Linny's trial, the culprit also only dissolved the victim in front of everyone because they realized they were at risk of being identified. The culprit could only time their actions so precisely if they were already at the scene. <laughs> oh shit. Coincidentally, Marcel attended both the banquet and the trial. Oh shit. So that's why you suspected me. <sighs> Even after hearing your reasoning, I still can't help but find it a little preposterous. Exactly, because you know you're being fucking caught. I'm used to it, though. You've always been an impulsive and sentimental child, Navia. It's one <gasps> of your most endearing traits. Ugh. What a fucking dig. No need to appeal to Pathos. I won't try to refute your points one by one, but even if everything you just said was true, can you prove that I was the only person present at both events? On top of that, does a person have to be physically present to control the timing? Can't someone remotely monitor the place? Yes, but no. Because... We know that everybody's identities were taken account of at Linny and Lynette's trial. So there would be a record of you being there. And you already agreed that you were at the banquet. You were hosting the banquet. So no shit. You're gonna get fucking caught. Oh shit. That. I know that even with that, you might still think you can reduce the list of suspects with some further investigations until I'm the only one left on the list. You were though. We already did the research. We just have yet to share it. Alas, who won't feel at least a little hurt by an accusation of murder from a girl you see as your own daughter? That's fucked up. But if I were to dismiss this completely, you'd also think I'm not being considerate of your feelings. Ah well, let Uncle Marcel teach you another lesson. Oh, fuck you. Do you know what the biggest flaw in your reasoning is? That you're a fucking rat. I suppose you're gonna tell me anyways. It's timing again. I'm a businessman by trade. From that standpoint, there's no reason for me to kidnap young women. It's a high-risk action with nothing to gain. Because there's more than just you. It's a group. In addition, I left my home in Snezhnaya when I was young to come to Poisson and work in some trade. My business only thrived when I received Callus's patronage. Oh my god, if you could see my fucking face right now. Shnez Naya. He's Fatui. Oh my god. It's the Fatui. It's the Fatui working against the Fatui working against the Fatui. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry for yelling, but oh my god. Not everybody from Shnez Naya, I know, but. Still, uh, still. <laughs> Shnez Naya, my God, you're you're working for someone who's affiliated with the Fatui, who's putting Arlequino in her place, kind of using this the House of Hearth as blackmail. To make sure that she stays loyal and stays in her place. And child, making sure he stays in his place. 
but also uh, probably didn't fully intend for him to get uh, seen as a suspect, but probably knew he'd end up on the chopping block at some fucking point, because of course he would. And I mean, it's known for like duels, duels and stuff, so they probably knew he was gonna get accused of something at some point, and to put him in his place. But, yeah, um, I, I, bruh, bruh. But the disappearances began before I ever stepped foot in Fontaine. And just because you didn't do it yourself physically, start the serial disappearances case does not mean you weren't still affiliated and still committed some of the thing of the act. Just because you did not do all of them does not mean you are not still culpable in it. Uh. Like, in the case of a murder, if there were multiple people present, just because you may not have outright stabbed or shot the person yourself, if you did not attempt to help, you attempted to cover it up, or just straight up did not report the crime, you are culpable as much as the person who committed the actual crime. Just like it's a crime to not report a car accident i.e. hit and run. Just because you didn't physically do it, or you didn't do anything, does not mean you're not still guilty. I do apologize, demoiselle. This was my mistake. No, it's not your fault. I'm sure he had come prepared. Exactly. Just because he did not physically do all of the serial disappearances does not mean he didn't do any of them. Or helped cover it up. He still very well could have planned the attack on Navia with the guard mechs from earlier to cover it up because he knew because he's on the inside that she was getting closer and that Kalik and several other people on the inside already knew some of the information they just didn't exactly know who exactly was involved is there anything else you'd like to say? Would you like to check the date of my first business license against the first known case of the serial disappearances? Again, just because you didn't do all of them does not mean you're not still culpable. You can also take a look at my border entry records or ask my friends and family when I left Snezhnaya for the first time. It's a group. People already suspected it was a group. Several people have already been tried and sentenced, but then another serial disappearance would happen. So no shit, it's a fucking group and you're part of it. Could those records and testimonies do something to appease the unspeakable anguish in your heart? Oh, fuck you! That is so 
mean and unnecessary. Fuck you. Ew. Gross. Fuck you, man. Seems like she got the wrong guy. No. At this rate, Nagi will be convicted for falsely accusing him. No. I think you've done a superb job of dissecting your father's feelings as he neared the end of his life. Oh, I want to punch this guy. Aren't you going against all of his wishes and expectations right now? Oh my God. That is so nasty. Oh, that is so nasty. He wished for you to become more rational, collected, and conscientious instead of dwelling only on your own feelings. Oh, my God. Oh, this man, the audacity of this man. Oh, disgusting. Oh, I may not, I may not be crazy about Navia, but like, oh, that is disrespectful. Oh. Damn. Once you've learned to be more considerate of others' feelings and to stop rushing headlong into things, you'd have met most of his expectations. Oh my god, the gall of this man. Ugh, that is so fucking. Ugh, Jesus. This isn't just about me, and it never has been. Exactly. You're fucking deflecting because you're pissed that she found the truth. The biggest difference between me and the rest of the victims is that I still have the ability to search for the truth. Exactly. While that same agency has long been taken from them. Exactly. Oh, the audacity of this man. The families were destroyed by synth abuse. The people who lost their loved ones to the serial disappearances, and the people who suffered tragic ends due to their sense of justice. Exactly. Oh, I, I'm in love with this fucking story. It, Fontaine. Its story has quickly become my fucking favorite. I I'm in love with Fontaine. Many people's images are flashing before my eyes. I'm sure some are coming to those of you in the audience as well. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Huh? Is it a man named Vache? <gasps> Oh shit, I forgot he was even involved. <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. <gasps> oh my god. I forgot about Vashe and that shit. I merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. No. Oh. oh, he's He's backtracking. Then backed up in a corner because he fucking knew it was obvious that. With how he replied, no person who doesn't know who the fuck she's talking about is gonna be like. <gasps> They'd be like, who? What? They'd react in confusion, not surprise. I was waiting for you to say that. Ha ha ha. A little while earlier, at the entrance to the synth production base. Oh shit, we're back to the traveler. Oh shit. 
Oh shit, we're gonna have to stealth, aren't we? Fuck. Ugh, I hate stealthing. I... I'm so bad at it. Please tell me we are not... gonna have to stealth. Ugh. Please, no stealth. Mind. We're going in there. Like how we always do. <laughs> a brute forcing this baby because I'm not seeing any stealth yet, so thank fucking god I hate this stealth in this game. Ow. Bye, doggy. Don't mind all the noise we just made. Statue is badass. Nice. Oh shit. Oops. Okay, go back up. Go back up. I stayed on for too long. I'm sorry. I was looking at the coal statue. Okay, my internet just decided to disconnect for no fucking reason. Also, yes, posture check. <sighs> okay, back to what we were doing. You're stealthy, guys. I don't know why my... I don't know why that decided to just fucking turn itself off. No reason. Okay. The water. Water is rising. Now we can swim to the top. Yeah, and that's the but problem, this Paimon. Is still a ways away from where we need to go. We need to fix global warming, even in Genshin. The water levels are rising. Shneznaya is melting. We need to fix it. <laughs> okay. How do you think they'll notice? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't just randomly yell. Uh, 
Hey, you think they'll notice if, uh... You just start yelling randomly? I shouldn't yell on the left. I'm sorry. I took my meds, I swear. I remembered this time. Sorry for yelling. Gotcha. Hey, stop. Stop it. Rest rebuild. A fresh Rude. maneuver. I did not mean to do that. I did not click that. But okay, whatever. It's fine. We just totally wasted that, but Mm, whatever. It's okay. We didn't really need it. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. Because I have a boo boo. It's making me mint. Like, uh, in band aid, so it's a little more like weird. So we're gonna end up going through there. Oh. I thought we were going through the top. Now the path is clear. Let's go. Down. Oh. It's up there. The fucking swan dive shit is so extra and I love it. I love the theatrics of it. Is this water? Oh, I thought that was water. Okay, okay. Just yummy. I give up on the whisper. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, fight me. There is no escape. Oh, one thing after another, can't see? I hear everything. Yeah. He hears all of us simping for him. He hears everything. Excuse me? Excuse me? I love his sassiness. Keep up. I love him. I love the Mistaken. He's being charged by Navia as we speak. Huh, that's right. Then let's hurry up and find some evidence so we can get back to the Opera House and help Navia. Marcel is not the mastermind. He is merely a cog in the machine. Which is an apt analogy in this situation. Here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. But you're not wearing the glasses and the mustache, so you're not Detective Paimon right now. Mm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him. Probably related to 
his and Jacques' case. Yes. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? <gasps> Vashai? Is it Vashai? Is there anything else? Hmm. We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. Exactly, because he can release the information at any moment. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove 